with the exploration of the fatherhood in this one, it does lead me to the question, Mama Toretto, who is she? And if we don't know yet, who could she be? Who would you want? <laughs> Been a long time, Tom. Little brother. You guys explore like the blood bonds of family with this one. Why did you want to introduce your brother? Fast and Furious has been synonymous with family. If you look in the dictionary for the word brotherhood, there's a picture of Dom Toretto and Brian O'Connor. As Dom enters into the realm of fatherhood, like we do in real life, we reflect on our own parents and our own father in hopes to be the best father that we can be. In reflecting on his father, which comes from a little scene in the first film. That's my dad. Where Dom is talking to Brian in the garage and explaining to him why a incredible car scares him. What we learn is that not only did he lose his father because of events around this car, but we uncover in this movie a broken brotherhood in the past. If Fast and Furious has done well to challenge its own concept of family. The whole Jacob character was in service of Dom reflecting on his own imperfect father. Jacob is Dom's brother. What is it like being the antagonist part of the family? I think it's awesome. I think it, it makes for a lot of creative storyline questions fast and its nucleus for all these films has been about family. But uh, Dom's expression of family is open in that you don't have to have the last name to be accepted, loved, and trusted. And I think this is the first instance where you have to look at your bloodline in an uncomfortable manner, like the genuine definition of family, and see how dysfunctional and, and tense and uncomfortable it is. I, I really enjoy it. Brother against brother, this should be interesting. Look forward to most about getting to explore more of the blood family of the Toretto's this time. I think what's exciting about it is that it gives you, um, it gives you a way to, it, g it gave me a way to explore backstory and like the reason for the Toretto's being the way they are, the family dynamics, the history, and I kind of want to go further into it. I mean, I think it's really interesting that Mia was in touch with Jacob for a little while while he was away, you know, unbeknownst to to Dom and. Um, I think family dynamics are so interesting as they play out. Like, it's because like whatever happens, like you cannot escape your family. Like they're with you for life. So I think that's what makes for such interesting drama. But could you kill him? I have two brothers, you know, and and so I I, I, I think also being like an, an an immigrant kid growing up, you know, the sense of family of through shared experience is something that is very personal to me. So I thought, you know, it was great, you know, from three all the way to six to be able to kind of see our fast family grow globally. But then being away, I, I realized we, we've never explored family through blood. And so for a chapter, for a ninth chapter to do something that we'd never done before, I, I, I felt like I couldn't pass that up because, you know, because I know to do that, I, I, we're, we're we're going to be able to also go back to the origins of the mythology. And so there were a lot of things that once that idea came, I thought, okay, you know, like th this is one worth coming back. It's so different than all the others. You always say never turn your back on family, but you turned your back on me. What was it about John Cena that made him the right person to be that opposite to Vin? Yeah, you know, I, 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 I was so excited about the idea. And then the next thought was like, holy crap, who's going to play this character, you know? And... And I was so, I felt so lucky, you know, the first meeting I had with John, he came in and we started talking and within 30 seconds, I'm like, that's our Jacob. He has siblings, so he understands it. And also just the way he is, he's fearless, humble. He could be relentless. All these things together, I just felt like he's the right person to bring in, you know, at this point to join us. And um, it was amazing. Once he showed up, um, he was very smart. He kind of kept some of it to himself and Vin kept some of it to himself. And Knowing both of them, I thought, wow, yeah, it's like uh, they're really nice, but they're not nice right now. And I realized they were just kind of holding that until the confrontation and they just let loose. And it was it was great. And that's when I felt like, OK, it was always meant to be. I spent my entire life in your shadow. And now you spend the rest of yours living in mine.
fans are going to be very excited to see some of those blanks filled in in this movie. But one blank I have to ask you about, Mrs. Toretto. When are we going to find out who Dom and, and Jacob and Mia's mother is? You know, it's interesting with, with, with Vin, we, we talk for years, we talk, you know, about even when we're making movies, we'll be having conversations about Dom and the family. And uh, it, 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 most of it is not even what we're shooting, you know? Uh, and, and, and we've been talking a lot about Mrs. Toretto uh, from the very beginning of, 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 of coming back on For Nine. So, um, you know, I, I, I feel like there's going to be a time and place uh, to be able to reveal that. When we dropped the first trailer at Super Bowl, the, the introduction of Dom having a brother asked a lot of questions. And the fact that people are asking more of those origin questions as we, F9 does such a great job of crashing all of these loose narratives, Justice for Han and the introduction of a few other characters and su some surprise appearances, it begins to tie up all these to a definitive conversational end. And I think you have an interesting question and that's something I would really like to know. So maybe we find out. If you could fan cast your mom, mm -hmm. I have some ideas like a Raquel Welch, a, a Gloria Estefan, like who would you want to see? That would be really cool. I would say, um, I was thinking Holly Hunter or Annette Benning would be really cool. Jane Fonda vibe. I just think like strong so that she almost takes over um, that patriarch, that, that patriarchal role because of her like just vibe. Mama Toretto, who is she? And if we don't know yet, who could she be? If we had to fan cast the mother, the matriarch of this family tree, who would you want? I was like, I know you're laughing because you can't tell me, but I, I've got ideas, no, like I, Gloria I, Estefan. No, 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 I, on the contrary. I'm laughing because it's such an insightful question. It's the first time anyone has asked that question. I, I mean that. It's the first time anyone's asked that very natural question that's come up in so many story meetings. For Fast 10, I will tell you, and because, and I know I probably shouldn't say this, but before we get to Mother Toretto, we will get to Abuela. And the person that I'm so excited to um, talk about that role is Rita Moreno. That was my dream. I have it written on my card, Rita as Abuela. I just, red ink is here. Listen, I'm a fan, Vin. You're amazing. <laughs> You're yeah. amazing. I'm thrilled. Congratulations wait on minute, another great one. Can I just yeah, do something? Yeah, you take it. I knew I was uh, okay to tell you.